Hi everyone, it's Jamie here, and today I'm gonna to be doing kind of an everyday glam moment. So more of a natural, browns, maybe some pinkies, a copper maybe, we'll see what happens. So if you wanna see how this look turns out, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell below so you can be notified every time I upload. And let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I just went ahead and put my hair back and I'm gonna get started with facial primer. So I'm gonna be using the Hydrating Professional Primer from Benefit. And I actually just got this one on my BoxyCharm, which is awesome. If you don't know about BoxyCharm, it's a monthly subscri subscription box where you get full-size makeup products. So this came in there. I'm gonna take a pea-sized amount on my fingers and put it just in the T-zone. So I already had this primer, so I gave the one I got my BoxyCharm to my sister but I wanted to use it just for the sake of the video. And I'm gonna be using all the, not all, but most of the products I got in my BoxyCharm today. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take the Pixi Makeup Fixing Spray and also spray my face. Next we're gonna be going in with foundation. So today I'm gonna to be using the 24 Hour Infallible Freshwear from L'Oreal. And I use the shade 425. This may be a little dark for me. Might be my summer shade, but we'll make it work. So I'm gonna do about two pumps. And I'm gonna take my foundation brush. And just start buffing that into the skin. All right, we are back and foundation is on. I just went over the face with the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge after using the brush just to buff out any brush marks that may show up and it's looking pretty good i'm happy with it this foundation is one of my favorites next i'm going to go in with the nars radiant creamy concealer from well nars i said that um in the shade chantilly or light one this is my favorite concealer of all time so i'm just going to apply a little bit under the eyes and just down the center of the face brighten. I'm going to blend that out with my Real Technique sponge starting on the forehead. So what has everyone been up to during quarantine? Let me know in the comments below. I've been doing a lot of cleaning, housework, things like that. We painted our house. I painted my room, my mom's room, my sister painted hers. We got some carpet to put in. And I'm about to start painting the bathrooms on our upstairs as soon as I'm done filming this video. But I would love some suggestions of what to do, what everyone's doing to keep themselves busy. I've been watching a lot of Heart of Dixie. It's an older show, you may not know it, but I love it. It's one of my favorites. So next I'm gonna go in with setting powder. And today I'm gonna to be using the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I'm gonna go in with my Real Technique sponge and just buff out any creases that may have formed on the eyelids and underneath the eyes and I'm just going to dip right into that powder and get a little bit on my brush or on sponge sorry and buff that on the eyelid and the under eye area. Setting the eyelid will just make it really easy for the shadows that we're going to put on to just blend out. So same thing on this side just buffing out the creases dipping into the powder and setting that area. kind of just the t-zone everywhere we put that concealer I like to set with the sponge because I tend to be a little bit more dry there and then the outer perimeters of the face I'm gonna use a brush so now that we're set like that I'm gonna take the Sephora number 91 brush it's a big powder brush and just dip into that powder and powder the rest of my face a little bit on the neck okay so now that that is done, I'm gonna go in with my favorite bronzer instead because that one didn't work for me. And I'm gonna take it on a Morphe E34 brush and I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty um, Instant Warmth Bronzer in In The Sun. It's the lightest shade and I'm just gonna swirl my brush around and tap off the excess and bronze up the skin that way instead. I actually just ordered the cream bronzer and blushes from Fenty during the VIB Rouge sale and I'm so excited for them to come in. They're shipped now so they're on their way. I cannot wait. I love Fenty, almost anything 
that she comes out with I buy and I love. Just lightly contouring the face. Bringing that warmth and structure back into the skin. And then to add a little bit more warmth, I'm gonna be taking the MAC 140 brush. This is just a limited edition like Christmas collection one, and I'm gonna be taking the MAC Aaliyah bronzer. This is just a warm kind of shimmery bronzer because I really want that sun-kissed bronzy look today. It's about 17 degrees outside today where I live and it's so warm. I was outside tanning this morning. So once the bronzer's done, I'm gonna go ahead and add some blush. And I'm gonna be adding kind of a peachy neutral shade because this is the palette that I'm gonna be using on the eyes today. It's by Zoeva. I got it in my BoxyCharm as well for the April BoxyCharm. And I'm just really excited to use it. This is the first time I've ever had a Zoeva product. I've heard really great things about it, so I'm really excited. So for blush today, I'm gonna to be using the BH Cosmetics Classic Blush Palette. It's a 10 color palette. And I think I'm gonna mix these two shades right here to get kind of a neutral pinky shade. Still want that hint of peach in there though to bring out the warmth. So to do that, I'm gonna be using a MAC 137 brush. It's this really flimsy brush, you can tell. And I love using a flimsy brush like this for blush. So I'm just gonna mix those shades together, getting more of the peachy and just tap off the excess and then buff that onto the cheeks. These blushes are very pigmented, so you have to kind of be careful. I like a lot of blush, but it's, not, it's very easy to go heavy handed. And then I like to add a little bit on the nose. Warm everything up, and then I take that powder brush that we were using and go over it all. Just blend everything, all the edges together. And as you can see in this pan, there is some kick up. I don't mind that. I just blow it off and it is okay for me, but just something to be aware of if you're gonna be purchasing this palette. Take my bronzer brush and I just like to kind of assess the situation as we go and see what I need to change or add, things like that, any buffing, blending I need to do. So far I'm liking the way it looks. This side's a little muddy here, just from that initial bronzer, but I'm not mad. Looks like it'll be okay. Just taking that bronzer brush that we used with the ABH palette and just kind of contouring the nose a little bit with that color. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go in with highlight. So I actually wanted to try and use the Iconic London Illuminating Drops. I got them in my boxy charm as well today. I've never tried them and I'm really excited because I've heard, heard, heard great things about it. So I'm gonna, this is the shade Original. So I'm gonna put two drops on my little palette that I have here. And I'm gonna use my beauty blender, just the side here. And get some on there and then just pounce some off on the back of my hand before going in on the cheeks. Oh, that's so pretty. It's a little bit deeper for me than normal, than normally what I would use, but it's gorgeous. So just blind back in as I need more. And down the nose a little bit, the cupid's bow. Just really working that in. Oh, it's so pretty. That's gorgeous. So I am gonna go over it with a little bit of a lighter highlight shade as well, just so I don't have like a dark streak on my face. So to do that, I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Pressed Powder Face Highlighter in Here Kitty Kitty. Looks like this just the compact it comes in and I'm going to be taking that on a Real Techniques setting brush. It's the 402 and I'm just taking it ever so slightly. This one's a little bit lighter and silvery so it'll mix well with that one that's a little bit darker. If you can see that. So then I like to just take, this is just the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe J07 brush. I like to use that to buff everything together on the cheeks. Make sure there's no like streak of anything. But 
guys love these highlights together. They're gorgeous. Okay. So from there, now we're gonna get into the eyes. So I'm gonna scoot you a little bit closer and we'll get started. Okay, we are zoomed on in nice and close so you can get a look at what the skin looks like. I'm pretty happy with it. It's very glowy, bronzy, still kind of natural. Like this is not too heavy of makeup. So now I'm gonna go in with that Zoeva Cocoa Blend palette is what it's called. It looks like this in the front, opens up. There's no mirror, which is okay. I usually do my makeup in front of a big mirror, so it's called the Superior Pigmentation Palette, the Cocoa Blend. So I'm going to get started with the shade Bittersweet, which is this light nude kind of shade, and I'm going to blend that into the crease. Oh, there is some kick up. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. There's some kick up in the palette. I don't mind. I just like to tap my brush off. This one you won't really see. It's just going to further set the eyelid and help the other shadows to blend nicely on top. So I'm just doing a light wash through the upper crease and up to the brow bone. I am gonna take a little bit of a pencil brush. I'm gonna take this one that I got in my BoxyCharm as well, the Lavish set, this is the pencil brush. I'm gonna take that shade and put it right under the brow bone as a brow highlight. My brows are already done because I do have microblading, so I don't have to do them, which is super handy. I love that. I would recommend it to anyone who's thinking about getting it. It's amazing. Next, I'm going to go in with the shade Substitute for Love, which is this like neutral caramelly brown shade. And I'm going to use that same brush, the MAC 224 brush, and dip in, tap off the excess, and start working that into the crease as a transition shade. So I'm going to use my Fenty bronzer as my mirror. That's where I'm looking. This is a pretty warm caramel shade. It seems to be blending out pretty nicely. I'm just building it up slowly. I want this to kind of be the main color on the lid. So really buffing out those edges, windshield wiper motions, little circular motions. Whatever works for you and your technique, I like to do both. And then I like to take my brush more flat to my face and just kind of scratch the surface. I learned that from watching Nikki Tutorials videos. She's amazing. Then we're gonna do the same thing on the other eye. So I like to start right here in the outer crease and then build it up into that transition area towards the brow. Keeping it the darkest on the outer corners and the lightest on the inner corner and close to the brow bone. I'm just assessing the situation as we go, making sure both eyes are even. I really love this color. It's like a perfect transition shade for an everyday look. Like you could just do this and leave leave it like that and it would be perfect next i'm going to go in to the same shade but i'm going to go in on a smaller brush this is the lavish tapered blending brush looks like this i got it in my boxy charm as well so i'm going to take it on that with that same color but just on a more precise brush just to build it up in the outer corner and then i'm going to take that same brush and i'm going to go into Freshly Toasted, which is this darker shade here. It's kind of like a burnt orangey, not so much orange, but a burnt, warm, warm chocolatey brown. And I'm gonna start the same tapered brush to buff that into the outer corners and slightly into the crease just to blend everything together. I'm dragging my shadow out in kind of a cat eye shape just to elongate my eyes. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so from there, I'm actually going to go into an even smaller brush. I'm going to use the MAC 221 brush, and I think I'm going to take a tiny little bit of Beans Are White. <sighs> kind of a funny name. 
because this is the darkest shade in the palette. So I'm just gonna take the tiniest little bit of my brush and really tap it off. And I'm gonna just deepen up that very outer corner. Just like that. And I'm holding my brush on the very end so it has the lightest amount of pressure. Same thing in the other eye. So I'm going to take that lavish brush with that mid toned color and just buff everything out. And then I'm not going to cut the crease. I like it, but kind of this more natural, like messy almost look. So to go on the lid, I think I'm going to use the shade Pure Ganache, which is this lighter color. So to go onto the lid, I'm going to be using another lavish brush that I got in the Boxy Charm set. It's the eye shading brush. It looks like this. You can see it's just like kind of a flat, kind of fluffy brush. So I'm going to dip into that shade. With that brush just like this on the flat side and then i'm gonna spritz it with a little bit of fix plus as well it does look like it's gonna have some fallout so spritzing it will just help eliminate some of that fallout just a couple spritz and still tap it off and then i'm gonna go in and apply this on the lid oh that's pretty it's kind of like a rose gold shade it matches this eye look gorgeously and the same like bronzy vibes that I wanted on the skin oh I love this shade it's applying really well wet I'm sure it would have been good dry also so I'm bringing it to the outer third and then I'm going to take that other blending brush and just blend those edges together there's no harsh lines Oh, I love this. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. So picking up some on my brush first, spritzing it with a makeup fixing spray from Pixie, and then tapping it off to get any glitter particles gone before we start. And then I'm gonna put it onto the other eye when it's still kind of damp. So I'm going in the shape of a cut crease, but I'm not actually cutting the crease. That just helps lift my eyes make them look more awake if I go in that shape so I'm dipping back into that shade but I'm not adding any additional fix plus I'm just going back and forth now between the eyes to get them nice and even this shade is gorgeous I really really love it and then I'm taking that other lavish brush and just blending the edges. Oh, that's so pretty. I don't know how if camera's picking up how pretty it is, but it's like a gold rosy copper shade. So I don't know if you can tell, but I do have a little bit of fallout. So I'm going to take that JH07 brush and just buff it away there's not too much but just from that glitter shade perfect okay now I think I'm about done with that shade there was some kick up <sighs> nothing crazy I'm not mad about it and it's kind of to be expected with a shimmery shade like that it was like foiled so I'm loving how things are looking I'm gonna go ahead and set my brows now that I'm done kind of blending around up there Just kind of assessing everything as I do this. But I'm gonna use the MAC Clear Brow Set Gel. Perfect. And I'm gonna use actually that ColourPop highlighter as our inner corner and brow bone highlight. It is a little bit more pinky silvery than I would normally do. 
but I am going to take it on the same lavish eye pencil that we had that cream pillar on before and I'm just going to dip in, tap off the excess and kind of brighten up that brow bone on both sides and really make that inner corner pop. Kind of bringing that inner corner shade onto the eyelid just a bit to tie it in with that rose gold. So it shines really bright in the inner corner and brightens up the eyes. I'm going to use this lavish brush and I'm going to go into the two crease shades that we used. The Substitute for Love and Freshly Toasted. And I'm just going to mix them together on this lavish brush using more of the Substitute for Love, the lighter one. I'm just going to start to buff that on the lower lash. It's brow brush it's called the brow groomer and i'm going to take the pointed edged side and i'm going to take that darkest shade being their white and just press it off on the back of my hand so it's not too pigmented and i'm gonna place that as kind of a smoky liner on the top and bottom lashes just on the outer third just to add some depth. Pop on a lash and some mascara, and I will be right back. All right, I am back. Lashes and mascara on the top are done. I'm gonna apply some lower lash mascara. I used the CoverGirl Flourish mascara, and lashes I used the Kiss number 11. They're really natural, fluttery lashes. I wanted more natural. They have more of a cat eye effect, which I like, so they make the outer eye, they accentuate the shadow that we did. So I'm just adding a touch of mascara to the lower lashes. That just brings everything together and I'm going to take that Jaclyn Hill brush and just dust away anything that we have there and then I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette and I'm going to take the yellow shade in the middle and I'm just going to put that under the eyes, kind of sides of the nose to brighten things up and also mattify the T-zone where we want the, to be more matte. And I'm going to use this to clean up the contour as well. I don't really like to bake. I have drier skin. So I just clean it up. And I'm going to take a step back, look in my mirror, see if there's anything I want to change or add before I set the face. I think it looks pretty good. I'm very happy with how it looks. So I'm going to take the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist and set the face. This will add to that glowy effect. I'm going to take my fan and dry my face off. Once the face is dry, this is a close-up look of how it all turned out. I'm going to add a lip color. So for the lips, I'm going to be using the Morphe Matte Lipstick in Wifey. And I'm just going to use the lipstick. I'm not going to use a lip liner. I'm just going to follow my natural lip shape. on top to keep with that glowy look. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. This is the original shade. I'm just going to put that on top. And then last but not least, because I just remembered that I forgot, I'm going to add the Morphe Vibes Eyeliner into the waterline. just brings some more warmth to the eyes and it makes my eyes look a little bit more green so then this is the final look so 
who are very glowy, very fresh. I'm gonna take these clips out of my hair. And scooch back a little bit. Here we are, this is the finished look. I love how it turned out. Nice bronzy, fresh, glam moment. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of my future uploads. And I hope you guys have a great time. Stay safe during quarantine and I'll see you in a little bit. Bye.